Let's get started today, guys. Uh, what I'm going to show you today is how to create a on-click listener through a separate class that you can use with the buttons that you want to put on the uh, visual layout. So the first thing we want to do is drag a button to the visual layout. Let's uh, create the constraints. We'll just drag it down to the bottom. We'll put it in the middle. And let's give this ID a button. We'll call it button plus. Uh, we want to say refractor, and let's just put a big old plus sign on there, right? Next thing we need is going to be a text view. And also get the constraints. And what this text view is going to do is going to keep count of the current count that uh, every time we hit the button. That made any sense there at all. I want to show it zero for the first. And let's create this text size a little bit larger. Let's go down to the bottom of the attributes and we'll do text size. And let's create it, let's do 30 SP. That'll work. Uh, so we can go ahead and go to the main activity. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and create that on click listener class. So if you want to click this file right here, we click new Java class. You can call it whatever. I'm going to call it my on click listener. I spelled that correctly. Hopefully I did. So in order to implement the on click listener, we actually need to just repeat our code what I just said. So we're going to do implements view dot on click listener. Uh, we probably could do button on click listener, but view is just the huge object not the huge but the parent object to all the widgets so we it's showing up basically squiggly lines because it's uh telling us we need to create a method that is the on click so if you just want to press alt enter we can implement those methods automatically cool no more errors so let's go ahead and go to the main activity and set up our button so we're going to need a button and we'll call this button plus not in all caps. And we're going to need a text view as well. So text view, we'll call this TV. Did I name that text view? I did not. So let's do text view count. Sorry about that. Main activity. So let's go ahead and set up our button in our text view. Button plus equals find view by ID. This just maps the ID that we gave it to the ID that is in there. And let's go TV equals find view by ID, r.id dot text view count. Uh, let's figure out why this is showing. Oh, okay. Misspelled button. Of course I did. So we can actually go ahead and set up our on click listener. Um, so if we do button plus dot set on click listener, what we're going to pass through here, guys, is the on-click listener we just created. <coughs> Ooh, a little sick. I can't hear it in my voice. Um, so the on-click listener we just created is called my on-click listener. We're going to create an instance or an object of this class. And we're going to pass it in here. So we can actually just do that through this uh, function. So we're going to do new my on-click listener. And it is almost that easy so let's go to the monoclick click listener here and let's go ahead and set up so what we need is we're going to need the text view uh and we need to increment that text view with a count so in here we actually need to create a constructor that takes in a text view so in order to do that we can say public uh it's my on click listener and this needs to pass in a text view, call it TV. And this class needs a variable, or an instance variable called text view TV. So in here, we're going to say this dot TV equals TV. So what this does is it sets this text view right here. That way, throughout these functions that we use, we can mess with that actual text view. And with, if you don't know what this variable means, it means this text view, it's this TV variable, which is this, equals this text view, which is that. That sounded really confusing, but if you want to kind of look at it, you can see that this one is bounded to that, and this one is bounded to that. So the next thing I want to do is actually we can change that count, right? 
but in order to keep count, we need an integer called count. And in our constructor here, we'll set it to zero. So every time our onClick listener gets clicked or the button gets clicked, we want to say count plus plus, and we want to say tv.setText to count. And you want to do plus uh, these quotations here just so that it turns that integer to a string pretty quickly. Uh, so we are missing one thing, and it's almost that easy. So in our main activity, you'll see these red squiggly lines here. And that's because we're not passing in the text view that we need. So obviously the text view that we need is going to be TV. So if you want to run that, if I did everything correctly, it should work. Actually, I yeah, I think I'm pretty sure I did. So it should pop up. And so it starts at zero. We'll go one, two, three, four, much as you want it. So to quickly explain what this is doing, guys, is it's creating, uh, it's sending the onclick listener to this class and it's passing in this text view, this text view right here. And then from there, we have one class that is being situated or that is being activated when we hit this button. So this one class holds a count variable, which gets incremented every time we hit the button. And this also, this class variable also has a text view variable, which gets implemented when we click the button. So we have now access to the text variable, or the text variable, I'm sorry, the text view and the count. So focus coding challenge is to create a minus button that will go from zero to negative one, negative two, with using the same text view. This is gonna be a little harder than normal. You might have to think outside the box here. So pause the video, give it a shot, good luck. Uh, hint is you're basically gonna do the exact same thing we just did, except for you're going to have to create one object of my class, or my onclick listener class. Uh, the answer, we'll go ahead and skip straight to it. Hopefully you pause the video and try to figure that out. Um, so the answer is, let's go ahead and create that new button. And we'll go here, here, try to line it up with that. We'll call this button minus. And we'll refactor, we'll give this a big old minus sign. Cool, that is all we need for that. Not the best looking there, is it? We'll align it a little bit. And in our main activity Java, let's go ahead and set up this button. We'll say button minus, and we'll do the exact same thing right here, guys. So we'll say button minus equals find b by id or dot id dot button minus. Let's go ahead and set that on click listener as well. Button minus dot set on click listener. I'm sure many of you, if you tried it on yourself, you did this right here to pass in TV. Uh, this is going to work, but it's not going to work the way you want it to. It's going to keep two separate count variables. The next thing we'll do is we'll go to my onclick listener. And this is where the tricky part is. If you figure this out by yourself, all props to you. So this variable we're passing in on view V is actually the button that is getting clicked. So we're going to use that variable V to get the ID of the button getting clicked. And if it equals the button minus, we're going to subtract V and the button plus, then we're going to add. So in order to do that, we're going to say v dot get id if equals r dot id dot button plus we want to do what's below. Cool. And we're also going to say else if v dot get id equal equals you can guess it button minus. What do we want to do? We want to say increment count or de decrement, if I'm saying that right. And we want to say <coughs> tv.setText to count. Cool. Now that will work. It's just not going to work the way you want it to. So what this does is we create two objects of the my onclick listener. So it's going to create two on clicks and it's going to create two counts. So we're going to have two separate counts for each button. That is not what we want. So if you can see here, we're going to go four, five, 
and it should go to four, but it's gonna to go to negative one because it's keeping two different counts. So in order to keep one count, we need to create one object or one instance of my onClick listener. So in order to do that, guys, we're gonna say, go down here or up here and create a my onClick listener instance here. We're gonna say my onClick listener. Cool. And we need to set, just like we did when here, the new my onClick listener TV, we need to set it right here. My onClick listener equals new and the constructor, which is just the same exact name, and we're gonna pass in that text view. So from here, that will create one count variable and one uh, onclick listener. And now when we set the onclick listener, we can just set it to that instance variable. And that will get rid of your problems. And we can fix these a little bit. Let's create, create these constraints all the way around kind of center them. Hopefully that will work. Uh, let's run it. All right, so we got one, oh, I'm sorry. We have one, two, three, four, and it should go three, two, one. That is amazing, that is what we like to see. Uh, another way a lot of people like to do this is kind of get more organized and kind of let you wrap your head around it more. Uh, we can create a function by just saying private void go up. And we can say private void go down. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy these things and we're gonna paste them in the going up. And we'll copy this one. And we'll say paste it going down. So if a button plus gets kicked or clicked, we can say go up. And we can say go down. Now this is gonna do the exact same thing as before. It's just kind of lets you wrap your head around it and see how it's actually doing it. Maybe mess with it a little more. It looks a little more organized and neat. So same concept, but the hard thing a lot of people, a lot of beginners uh, seem to not understand is how before it was saying there's two count variables and now there's one count variable. So I'm gonna explain that one more time before we end the video. So what we're doing here is we're creating this mod click listener and we're creating one instance of this class. In this class, you need to initialize a text view. So that text view is gonna be the text view that we created at the beginning that we want to edit. So when creating the myonclick listener instance, we're going to say myonclick listener equals new myonclick listener, which basically runs this. And we're going to pass in a text view and set this one text view to this class and initialize this one count. So if you, so for example, if you created another myonclick listener and called it something else, and you initialize it down here, you would have two counts. So in this case, we only have one count and we can pass in that instance through the set on click listener. Hope that makes sense guys. And the last thing that a lot of people get confused is this view. So this view, you would assume that would be button B, right? Because we're passing in a button or the on click is a button click listener, not a view. Well, view is the parent class to every widget that you see over here. So every one of these is ultimately a view. So when it gets passed in through here, it's basically saying V, which is a view, but it can be a button, it can be a radio group, but for this case, it's a button. So that's how we get the ID of the button click. Uh, hopefully this video made sense. If not, uh, just feel free to ask questions, email me or post them in the comments and I'll answer them quickly. Thanks guys.